In this video, we'll discuss the European paper wasp. Training videos developed in cooperation with Colorado Coalition for School IPM. The European paper wasp is an introduced species. Very similar in appearance to a yellow jacket, the European paper wasp in flight can be identified by the brown hanging leg stance that you see here. The other telling identification characteristic is the open-faced comb nest that the European paper wasp makes. These paper nests are made from wood, so one IPM tactic you can employ to help reduce their nest building around common areas is to paint or seal exposed wood surfaces. European paper wasps rear their young on live insects. They have become one of the most important natural controls of many kind of yard and garden insects. Most commonly, they feed on caterpillars, including the larvae of hornworms, cabbage worms, and tent caterpillars. Information on the use of traps and lures for capturing European paper wasps is disputed. The common remark for any wasp species is that queens nest in the spring, so spring is the time to set baits if you decide to use them. And finally, removal of nests should be done during the cool hours of the day when wasps are not as active. If sprays are used on school grounds, it should be when children are not present. School IPM, European paper wasp reminders, European paper wasps build open-faced comb nests. They are a beneficial species. Queens nest in the spring. Traps, if used, should be set out in the spring. And nest removal should take place during the early a.m. or late p.m. periods of the day. And remember, please, do not spray pesticides around children, whether they're at your school or at your home. We hope these ideas helped you with your school IPM program. Check out more of our videos for other ideas. And thanks for watching.